Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we're exploring how to incorporate movie clips into your YouTube videos. Okay. Ever wanted to add a memorable scene from your favorite film to enhance your content? Well, today, I'm going to show you how to record movie clips safely and legally for your YouTube channel. Let's get into it. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Before we start, here's a little heads up. I'm not a lawyer, so this video isn't legal advice. But don't panic. I'm going to show you how to stay on the safe side by following fair use guidelines, so you can have fun with those movie clips without putting your channel at risk. All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Copyright. We right. We all know that using someone else's content without permission can get you into deep water. Like yes. Water. Like copyright strikes or worse, lawsuits. And that's where fair use comes to the rescue. But Hooray! Rescue. But what exactly is fair use, you ask? Well, fair use is a legal loophole that lets you use copyrighted material under certain conditions, like for commentary, education, or parody. Sounds pretty good, right? But, right? but here's the catch. It's a little more complicated than just slapping a movie clip into your video and crossing your fingers. Courts look at a few important things before deciding if your clip really falls under fair use. Fair use. Fair use is like this set of rules that lets you use a small portion of someone else's work, like a movie clip, under certain conditions. But it's not a free pass. There are factors to consider. What are you saying? So, let's break them down. First up is the purpose and character of the use. This is where you ask yourself, am I using this for something like education, commentary, or parody? Or am I just trying to make a quick buck by stealing someone else's work? If, it right, then. Work, if it's transformative, meaning you add your own commentary, criticism, or analysis, it leans more in your favor. Then there's the nature of the copyrighted work. The more creative and original the work, like a Hollywood blockbuster, the less likely it is to fall under fair use. But if it's more factual, think documentaries or educational content, you're on firmer ground. <laughs> Next is the amount and substantiality of the clip you're using. This one's simple. The less you use, the better. Are you using a 30-second clip or are you posting the entire scene? Less is more in this case. Finally, courts look at the effect on the market. The big question here is, am I harming the original creator's ability to profit from their work? If your clip doesn't hurt the original film's market, then you're in a safer spot. Now that we've got the basics down, let's talk about some tricks to keep things as safe as possible when using movie clips in your videos. Nice. Here are some tips I personally use. Keep it short. I can't stress this enough. A short clip, like a few seconds, is usually safe. Don't go overboard. Give credit where it's due. Always mention the movie's title, director, and studio in your description. It's not a guarantee that you'll be in the clear, but it sure helps show respect to the original creators. Sure I can. Transformative use is key. Don't just drop a random clip in your video. Add something to it, comment on it, analyze it, or make it your own in some way. If you can turn it into something new, you're more likely to be safe. Finally, consider alternatives. Stock footage or your own original content are always great go-to options. If you can't find a way to legally use a clip, make something that's 100% your own. Copy. All right, now for the fun part, actually recording the clips. Let's talk about how you can use Wondershare Demo Creator to record those movie scenes and make them your own. This tool is incredible for both screen recording and video editing, and it's perfect for capturing high-quality movie clips. First things first, open up Demo Creator on your computer. Once it's up and running, click on the screen recording option. Now, before you start recording, take a minute to adjust the settings, frame rate, resolution, and audio sources. For the sharpest picture quality, I recommend going with a high resolution, 4K if you can. You want the clip to look as good as possible when you add it to your video. Next, select the recording area. If you're recording a movie, just define the area where it's playing on your screen. Once you've got everything set up, hit that big red record button and let Demo Creator do its thing. You can even use real-time drawing tools to highlight parts of the clip while you're recording. How cool is that? Once you're done, stop the recording and jump into the editing panel. Here, you can trim, cut, and tweak your movie clip however you want. You can also add transitions, effects, or even text overlays to make it fit seamlessly into your video. When you're happy with your clip, click export and choose your resolution. I'd recommend exporting in 4K for the best quality, but you can choose whatever suits your needs. But before you go on a recording spree, here are a couple of things to keep in mind. Always make sure you have legal access to the movie you're recording. You don't want to run into trouble later on. Also, respect the copyrights. Try not to use material in ways that could harm the original creator. Lastly, experiment and learn. The more you play around with recording and editing, the better you'll get. And that's it. 
By following these steps and using Wondershare Demo Creator, you can safely and effectively incorporate movie clips into your YouTube videos while staying on the right side of the law. If this video helped you, don't forget to drop a comment below, like the video, and of course subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy creating!